What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Action Sofa. We are in Ghostbusters, and Duncan is facing a boss made entirely of fire. And uh, I'm trying my darndest to hit him with something. Basically, just anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm hitting him. Okay, yeah. And he's not doing any damage to me because his patterns are extremely easy to read. <laughs> that was a fluke, obviously. Ah. Also a fluke. All right, now his patterns are a little more difficult to read. Oh, do you just need to hit him or do you actually have to hit him in the face? Uh, it might be in the face. There we go, yeah. Yeah, he blinks when that happens. Ah. Get back to the middle. <laughs> ah, if I'm gonna... You know what? That chicken, the Peking Duck is probably a good idea. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're gonna use Peking Duck. And... That was a good hit. Oh. Yeah, Are you out? There. Ah. Come on. Uh, ah, come on. Ugh. Well, that's butt. That guy is brutal. All right, well, grab some Peking duck, because that seemed to be important. He's been making Peking duck for 4,000 years. Is that what I just read? I think, I think he means that people have been making Peking duck for 4,000 years. Hmm. Somehow doubt he's been making Peking Duck for 4,000. He looks great for 4,000 <laughs> yeah. and change. Maybe he's one of the ghosts they busted. <laughs> they're not even going out for dinner. They just go down to the containment unit. And they're like, hey, dude, can we have some of that Peking Duck? We're kind of broke right now. <laughs> It'll be haunted Peking Duck. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Can we get some of those chicken balls, too? Those are great. The chicken balls are cursed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. With the sweet and sour sauce. Make it snappy. Sweet and sour sauce is full of calories and empty sugar. <laughs> well, duh. Why do you think we ordered the sweet and sour sauce? <laughs> you would make a terrible restaurateur <laughs> ghost we just made up. I did. <laughs> and then I died. Ooh. Shut up, ghost. <laughs> oh. We've already busted you. No one's afraid. I love that little blue ghost. Why is he there? He's there so I can jump on him. Well, I know, but, but like, he why doesn't bother? fit into this level at all. Like, everything's fire and bats and... <laughs> bats! And there's just this blue marshmallow man running around. Ah, oh, well, now that I say he's a marshmallow man, it all makes more sense. Ah. All right. Almost. Remember the falling torches. I remember. Those bats remind me of something, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Is it bats? Well, yes, but it's a specific enemy from another game. Ah. Oh, possibly the one eye from uh, Monster Rancher. Ah, those guys are cool. I like how nonplussed uh, Vankman looks while you're doing all this. <laughs> Typical Bill Murray. God, I love Bill Murray. <laughs> love Bill Murray so much. We love you, Bill Murray. Yes, we really do. I want my Bill Murray moment. You want your Bill Murray moment? Yeah, where is he to steal fries from me? Or do my dishes? Or make sweet dinners <laughs> at a party I attend? Ah. So every time I hit him, he seems to do a little... Leap. A little leap. I'm going to switch back to this thing, because it seemed to be pretty uh, legit at hitting him. Ah. Do 
dude really doesn't like you. <laughs> there we go. That's the kind of hit we need. Ah! Man, oh man. This guy is destroying me. Way worse than he was before. Yeah, well he's doing those little short hops. He wasn't doing those before. Ugh. Man. Hadouken. Ah. Okay, it's peeking duck up. It's not giving me the... <laughs> not giving you the patterns you need? Well, it's just not, um, the, the, hmm. the, the, my gun isn't going off when I want it to go off. So, see how I jump and then I, like, turn around and shoot? Cause, like, I'm an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I am noticing that, yes. Yeah, I jump and I hit the button and then I turn around and shoot. <laughs> Fires several seconds later. <sighs> well, you'll just have to fire it on the ascent rather than hitting it at the top of your jump. That's the best I got for you, man. Yep. You got nothing else. <laughs> No, it's okay. We'll get this done. We'll get this done. We won't disappoint you, folks. I might disappoint you. That's a real thing that might happen. It's like your parents and your lovers. Exactly. I think I think they're hedgehogs because I was calling him Sonic before. Because he's bright blue. He looks like a hedgehog. Now it's just, that's what they're stuck as. Fire hedgehogs. Curses! <laughs> this level. It's... I just realized I, f I forgot to pick up another Peking duck. Yeah, you did. Yeah, well. Oh, my God. Slimer, give me some health. That's not health, Slimer. Not health, Slimer. Not helping. Not helping. Okay. Come on, let's do this. This level. Really breaking my balls. This is the worst level. The next level can't possibly be worse than this. Right? I'm inclined to imagine. Screw you too, Slimer. Hold on. You go down and come back up, will he? Yeah, there he is. What a dickbag. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Every time you go down the ladder, he respawns. That's what's happening. Eh, we'll grab another one. Stupid Slimer. Crappy Slimer. Stupid, crappy, dumb butt. Okay. Uh, I go down this ladder. Mm-hmm. I jump. Kill that bat. You jump. Kill this bat. And leap. Okay. They really just give you the bare minimum amount of time to get out of the way of all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Kim, are you watching? I'm are so you, proud. Are you watching? I'm like a proud papa. <laughs> eh, not getting hit by fire hedgehogs this time. Just Ugh. fire, period. Just fire. Come on, there we go, and jump, and shoot, and love, and live, and laugh. Nope, just shoot. <laughs> Anger and horror, that's all that's left. Alright, well you got, you are hurt, but you have two men. Encounter. There, there we go. go. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Curse you, fireman. Ah.
There we go. Why'd you piss off the human torch so bad? <laughs> Shoot, man. It was a bad idea. Human torch is a scary dude to upset. Like, he is... He has all the superpowers of a villain. Like, there's no reason he shouldn't be a villain. Or he couldn't be a villain, I should say. What would you describe as the super, like the superpowers of a villain? Uh, well, any... Any, like, serious energy projection... Tends to be villainous? Yeah, because, like... Being able to throw fire or project fire has very few good purposes. This is true. Like, yeah, you can use it to fight villains, sure, but anything outside of that, like, it's not constructive in any way. It's literally just a destructive force. <laughs> right, he's not... He can't, uh, he can't, like, rebuild stuff or save people or whatever it is. He's just on fire all the time and yeah. is terrifying as a result. Yeah. Or, like, um, Nitro can explode like a, a bomb. That's that's a villain's power, for sure. Uh, it's getting bad, folks. Getting down mm. to the wire. Mind control, also kind of an iffy one. Yeah, mind control is pretty bad. I don't know what you're doing with mind control that you're uh, that you're doing good with. Yeah. Other, as I say, other than fighting villains. Yeah. Well, and that's that's the thing. In a world of super beings, any power could be used for good or evil. In a world of just normal people, if you can burst into flames, not a lot you can do with that. You can control minds. Not a lot of people who would use that for good. <laughs> a lot of going to Vegas and making a lot of money. That's. <laughs> Well, that's why I had a problem with your, uh, your your hypothetical earlier. You were like, hey, Duncan, if you could project fire from your hands, what would you do with it? And the truth is that, uh, yeah, I would probably just go, go in my backyard and burn stuff because that'd be fun. But anything else I could do with that would be awful. Yeah. There's, like I say, there's very little good you can do with it in a world of just normal human beings. Going invisible? Very useless. Is well, not entirely useless. You could be like an undercover agent or something like that. But uh, that's a pretty pervy superpower. <laughs> Ask any teenage boy what power they want. They'd say invisibility. <laughs> and we all know why. We know, teenagers. We know. It's so you can never be caught masturbating. Yeah. Just for anyone out there who's wondering. Everything everything as a teenager is so that you don't get caught masturbating. Or so that you can masturbate more. That's <laughs> <laughs> just all of those things all the time. Yep. But I mean, there's not much else to look forward to when you're a teenager, so yeah. I get it. Poor teenagers. No control over their their bodies whatsoever. <laughs> or most of their environment, really. Yep. <sighs> Yeah, that's a tough. That's a tough one because like little kids have very little control over their environment, but they also don't give a crap. Yeah, they're just like, "When's dinner? Do I get candy now? I get candy now." How many sleeps away is Christmas? Oh, do those just go down and stay down? No. Weird. I think this one does because it's got bunnies in it. Fire, fire hairs. Hmm. Weird. All right, well, whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, teenagers are actually fighting for control over their lives, and they have none. <laughs> I'm so sad. That is sad. Thank God we're not teenagers anymore, am I right? You are so right. Oh, come on, dude. Be cool. Ah, <laughs> right, because he's made a fire. <laughs> A lot to ask if a guy made a fire. Boop. There you go. Boop. Just keep doing that over and over. No, not that. That's not what I asked. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. No, no, I was talking to him. Oh. You're doing everything you can. This fire guy's being unreasonable. There you go. Ugh. 
Okay, I can do this. Be the ball. Should you use those bombs, maybe? Mm, I don't know if they do anything against him. I think they just... I think they only work against uh, regular enemies. Are they a screen clearer? Is yeah. Is that what they're... Oh. Which is not that useful in this game, because... So there's very rarely a screen full of enemies that you can't deal with. Okay, I think I can I think I can do it this time. Come on. Come on. There you there go. There we go. Alright, All right, come here. Little, come here, you little bastard. Yes. There we go. Finally got one. Yes. I feel really good about myself. Good. You should. You're the best. I'm the best around. Nobody's ever going to keep you down. I'm going to ever keep you down. Is there any way out of this place? Do I have to go through that horrible fire gauntlet I think that's again? why they give you that uh, shortcut to the beginning. Ah, okay. Okay. But I still have to do this bullcrap. Sure do. Ah. <sighs> oh. These things are back. This one goes up and down. And the next one has fire rabbits in it again. <sighs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> punishing. Kim, why am I being punished for playing this game? Because you're a bad person. You do bad things. You got $1,000 for catching that ghost. Yeah. Not as All much right. as I assumed we would get, but... What does the Gyoza get you? Uh, it uh, increases my my life. So, like, I, I just got a life refill there. Oh, outside of the... Uh, yeah. I gotcha. Because I was going to die. You sure were. You sure were. And I've still got Peking Duck. I managed to kill that guy without eating my Peking Duck. Yeah. You do only have this one life to live, though. And then the Ghostbusters will be after you. Oh. Yeah, this is a weird universe to live in, eh? Like if you die, you might come back as a ghost. Yeah. But there's no real rhyme or reason as to why that would happen. And then there is a group of people that are going to... Oh my god! That are going to catch you and put you in a containment unit for all eternity. <sighs> Yeah, basically. I mean, I always assumed that the containment unit fed off the energy of the ghosts and eventually kind of dissipated them. Um, in the cartoon, they actually did show what happened inside the containment unit. I remember that. Yeah. That was terrifying. It was terrifying. Um, and I think it was. I think they were just stuck in there. It's like prison for ghosts. Yeah. But that's the thing. If the Ghostbusters died, they were just trapped in there. <laughs> For eternity. <laughs> it's messed up. Health. Yeah, there we health. go. That's what I'm talking about. Boing. That's what I'm talking about, Willis. Wait, is this the way you want to go? Yep. Okay. Oh, right, because you do go down and then left. I got you. Um, stop here on the safe, and uh, we'll call it. All right. Um, so we will... <laughs> oh, adorable. <laughs> um, we will uh, kick this boss's ass uh, next time on the action sofa.